Today, I'm sharing exactly what I've been eating and supplements I'm taking for balancing my hormones. I struggle with irregular and anovulatory cycles, so my focus is on regulating my menstrual cycles. So quick disclaimer, the supplements I'm taking are based on my needs and what my doctor has recommended. Please do your research and talk with your healthcare provider before adding a supplement. Even natural supplements can interact with other medications and cause negative effects. Starting off the morning by taking Vitex. It promotes ovulation because it protects the hypothalamus from chronic stress and it prevents the pituitary gland from making too much prolactin. Check out the article below on the do's and don'ts of taking Vitex. And then after you take that, I start with my morning protein smoothie. And this morning we're making a gingerbread flavored smoothie. So I'm just starting with a base of water and then I'm doing a full serving of a vanilla protein powder. I'll link it below. The vanilla is gonna be perfect for this smoothie, it's gonna make it taste just like a baked good. And then for our produce, frozen cauliflower rice. I promise you can't taste it, it just helps thicken up the shake and add a little bit of nutrients. And again, the protein is so, so important in the morning for balancing blood sugar, calming cravings, and keeping us full throughout the day, so it's really good for hormones. And then you're going to add one to two tablespoons of chia seeds or flax seeds, whatever you have on hand or whatever you prefer. The fiber, again, similar to protein, is gonna calm hunger hormones because it stretches the stomach and helps us feel full, not to mention it's good for digestion and our gut health. Then you're gonna add a handful of raw walnuts or about a fourth of a cup. I have been starting to add walnuts to my smoothies because they have just such a natural sweetness compared to other nuts. If you can have walnuts, I highly, highly recommend them. So that's gonna go ahead and go in there. It's gonna be a healthy fat. And then we've got more flavorings to make it taste like gingerbread. We've got some fresh ginger, which is super potent antioxidant, a pinch of sea salt, some ground cloves, and some cinnamon. It's gonna taste just like gingerbread. A little spicy, but nice and sweet. So now that we have all of our ingredients in there, we can go ahead and put the lid on and whiz it up into a delicious protein smoothie. I know smoothies aren't the most popular thing for the winter, but I think when you add spices like this, it really warms them up. I'm still on a smoothie kick just because it's so easy for me in the morning. I can even make it the night before for mornings before clinical. So I just find ways to enjoy my smoothie all year round because I just love it. So I topped it with some more cinnamon and some hemp seeds just for fun. And I wanted to give it a taste test for you guys because I actually had never made it before. I just kind of dreamed up the recipe and wanted to try it. And it was so, so good. I've been making it many, many times after that. The next supplement that I take is my multivitamin. I like this one because it contains methylated folate and methylated B vitamins that are more efficiently absorbed. It also has vitamin D, zinc, selenium, which are important for hormone health. Then I'm taking ashwagandha. This herb counters anxiety, depression, and suppression of the hypothalamus. It's actually really good for correcting blood sugar instability. After taking my supplements, I've switched to having a small cup of coffee after my breakfast rather than before. A study came out this year showing that drinking caffeine first thing after waking without food is actually worse for blood sugar sensitivity than poor sleep. I also think it's been a lot better for my anxiety, a lot less heart palpitations, which has been good on to lunch now. I'm just heating up a small nonstick skillet with a little bit of this avocado oil spray and I'm adding some purple or some red cabbage. I got a whole head of red cabbage from the farmer's market and I think that was like three weeks ago and I still have so much cabbage so I'm trying really hard to eat it all but it's really healthy. I just find that I need to eat it cooked because it's a little tough on my digestion when I have it raw. But anyway, so I'm sauteing some uh, red cabbage and I'm adding some leftover spaghetti squash that I had cooked the day before. It was a huge spaghetti squash, so I had lots left over. So that spaghetti squash is gonna be my whole food source of carbohydrate and good energy. 
And on top of that, I'm going to add lots of greens. I like to try to get some type of greens or leafy vegetables, especially with lunch and dinner, if not breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I just covered that for a little bit so the greens could kind of wilt down. This is just like a power mix. I think there's like some baby kale and some spinach in there. And what I'm going to do is add some of this coconut aminos and peanut butter sauce that I made. I'll leave the link to the recipe down below. So it's kind of like an, a peanut sauce, like a really spicy soy peanut sauce, but made with coconut aminos, so it's gluten-free. It's kind of like a peanut spaghetti noodle stir fry, I guess. I'm making it up as I go. <laughs> and then for my protein, I just uh, added a little bit more avocado oil to the pan after taking the veggies out and had a piece of wild salmon that had been in the freezer added some salt and pepper on each side and just seared it. I think I do about like four minutes on the first side over medium high heat and just two minutes on the other side for perfectly cooked salmon. And if you're gonna make fish at home, you've gotta get yourself one of these fish spatulas. They're like the best invention ever. I use it all the time. Really important to include all three macronutrients, especially in your lunch and dinner. A whole food source of carbohydrate, a protein, and a healthy fat. Your hypothalamus in your brain is what regulates ovulation, and your hypothalamus needs to know that all three macronutrients are in abundance in order to feel safe to ovulate. So that's why I've been focusing my meals so much on just being really, really abundant in all three and not skimping. Because like you guys know, I don't do a ton of snacking, so my three meals a day are really big, satisfying, and always include a healthy carb, like a whole food carb, like this one, it's a squash, a protein, my salmon, and a fat, like the peanut butter in the peanut sauce. And just taking a bite. That salmon was so good. <laughs> And for dessert, I did have two squares of this dark chocolate sea salt bar. When I buy dark chocolate, I always look for something 70% or higher and I look for minimal ingredients. As a quick little tiny bite before dinner because I was so hungry, I had about one ounce of this raw milk white cheddar. I always go for a snack that is either like a cheese or nuts because they're a little bit more filling and you don't need as much. And then my roasted sweet potatoes, barbecue chicken wings, and arugula salad were ready. So my roasted sweet potatoes are my healthy whole food source of carbohydrate. It's gonna help boost my serotonin levels, help me get a really good night's sleep. Then my arugula salad, Salad is my greens. It's just dressed with balsamic vinegar and extra virgin olive oil. And then to bake my wings, I actually have a recipe for them on my Instagram, but I make them in the oven just with a really healthy barbecue sauce that's not sweetened. And this is my source of protein. Again, a really balanced meal that's gonna keep me really full and keep my hormones very happy. And then my last supplements of the evening are a magnesium. Magnesium is a key nutrient for calming the nervous system and regulating the HPA axis or the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. And then my omega-3 fish oil is really helpful to keep inflammation low because you wanna balance out omega-6 and omega-3 ratios. That is everything I ate and took today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, like this video if you wanna see more like it. Check out the description below and comment. Let me know what videos you wanna see next. I'll see you soon. Bye.